Mahindra XUV500 Connected Apps Mahindra and Mahindra launches connected apps in its premium vehicle XUV500. Connected Apps is a package of both offline and online applications such as music, news, weather, social networking and utilities. Infotainment system as inbuilt Wi-Fi hardware to support internet connectivity. The user can create Wi-Fi zone inside the vehicle to provide internet connectivity. Wi-Fi zone can be created using mobile Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi router or Wi-Fi dongle. Connected apps allows a user to enjoy online music, news updates, cricket scores and much more while driving. Connected apps can be launched from home piano screen. Clicking on apps, the user will be displayed with the disclaimer for the first time. To access connected apps, there are two ways. One is guest login and create account. Let's check the create account option. On clicking here, the user can choose his desired username. Then the user needs to set a 4 digit PIN. The system will prompt to re-enter the same PIN. Once the PIN is confirmed, the login ID is created. Now the user needs to enter the same PIN to login. The login is successful. The main screen of the connected apps will be displayed. You can see the list of online and offline apps. To access the online apps, the user must provide internet connectivity to the infotainment system. Now let's see how to provide internet connectivity. Let me press settings on switch bank. The Wi-Fi settings screen opens. By default, the Wi-Fi will be on. The user has to create a Wi-Fi zone inside the vehicle. Let us see how to create a Wi-Fi zone on the Android mobile. You need to click on settings. There, you need to go on the data usage. Turn on mobile data. So the mobile data will be turned on either on 3G or 4G. You need to click on tethering and mobile hotspot. Use the mobile hotspot option to turn it on. So the mobile hotspot is being turned on. This creates a Wi-Fi zone inside the vehicle. Our infotainment system only allows a secured connection. So let's configure this to be a secured connection. Now this is already a security protected Wi-Fi zone. So here you need to click on scan network. The available Wi-Fi networks are shown. Click on the desired network. Here you need to type in the same password configured in the mobile. Click on OK and then connect. Now the Wi-Fi network is connected through the internet sources from your mobile. Now let's see how to configure a Wi-Fi hotspot on an iPhone. Click on settings, mobile data, let me turn it on. Now we need to click on personal hotspot. Turn personal hotspot on. This is also a security protected Wi-Fi zone. Now let us see how to access some of the features in connected apps. The list of apps are shown here. I can use the switch bank and scroll to scroll between the apps. On the left hand side, we have the list of categories. So I can use the scroll up and down to scroll between the different categories. Currently it's on all. We go to favorites. So you can see none of the favorites have been added yet. Then we have location. On location we have two apps, Zomato and Book My Show. Next we go to music. We have Ghana. Then we go down. Let us go to news. We have Cricket Live and News Center. Now on social, we have hashtag. Then we click on utility. So you can see four apps on utility. We have calendar, world clock, calculator, and app center. Now let us click whether we have Foreka. Let us scroll up again. I can use the alt tab to check all the apps. Now let's check the menu. So we have account settings. On account settings, the user can turn pin off if he does not wish to enter the pin every time. We can check on switch user. This option allows the user to create a new account or switch between the guest login and other logins. So let's go back again. Now we have the delete account option. This option allows the user to delete existing logged in account. So let me cancel that. So let me go back. Go to menu. App settings. So here we have manage favorite apps. This option allows the user to select multiple apps to be as favorite. Here I have selected three apps. So when I go back, I click on the favorites. Here you can see those three apps are listed as favorites. Now let's check the next option. Wi-Fi settings. So we've already seen how to configure the Wi-Fi zone. 
Now let's see what is manage apps. Before I do that, let me play a song on Ghana app. So opening the app now, the song starts playing. So let me click the manage apps button on the left corner. This option allows the user to view the current apps. Clicking on the app opens the app again. Now clicking the manage apps button, the user can use the edit option and click on a particular app to close the app. This way, the user can view and manage running apps. Once the login is created and in the next ignition cycle, the user has to enter the PIN to access the apps. If the user does not remember the PIN or if he's a different user, he can use this button. There will be two options, create another account or use the guest login. So let me explain what is guest login. On clicking guest login, the main screen of the connected apps is displayed. The only difference between user login and guest login is, under guest login, the login credentials of any app is not remembered. Whereas in user login, the login credentials will be remembered across ignition cycles. In guest login, the user cannot access app settings and favorites. In guest login, the user shall delete all other accounts. So let me check account settings. When I click delete account, reset all accounts, click OK and all accounts will be deleted. The user can access Wi-Fi settings through radio screen as well. Settings, all settings, Wi-Fi settings, the user can connect to Wi-Fi networks. When I click forget network, this network will not be remembered. That's all about connected apps. Thanks for watching this video.